Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Beyond Light Season of the Lost Intel. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a pretty amazing exotic farm glitch that will allow new and novice players the ability to farm out all of this season's new exotic pieces of gear as quickly as possible. But before I get into all that information, I just want to remind everybody I'm still doing the giveaway on my YouTube channel. The next one will be at 50,000 subscribers. We just passed 49,000, which is unbelievable so thank you all so much for your support all you have to do to be entered into that giveaway is like this video subscribe to the youtube channel turn on all the post notifications that bell that's right next to the big red subscribe button and follow me on instagram or twitter they'll be linked in the description box down below and as always if you stick around till the end of the video i'll have that secret hashtag you can leave in the comment section to be entered into that giveaway a second time for this video and remember those secret hashtags they stack between all videos so if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel why not go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. So as I'm sure most people know, but some probably don't, the best way to farm exotics and get the new pieces of exotic gear for this season is to do the legendary lost sectors. Lost sectors, legendary lost sectors, rotate every day and will be at 1320 and 1350 difficulty respectively. Now at this stage of the season, fairly early on, I'm sure the 1350 might be a little daunting for most people, as the only way to get the exotic to drop is to do it solo. But doing this glitch, the one we'll discuss properly, will make it so that you never actually have to do a 1350 ever again. So how does it work? Well, a couple of things that I would do before actually attempting this would be to complete all your weekly activities first. The only reason for that is that you want to actually stock up on one specific piece of loot that you would normally probably want to get rid of, or at least I found I always have too many and want to get rid of, and that is Umbral Ingrams. Now these drop anywhere, and though they're not specifically the thing you'll need, they are definitely the most easy Umbral, uh, excuse me, easy Engrams <laughs> to actually come by. But for this specific glitch, any engram will actually work. Bright engrams, normal engrams, but umbrals will come in dozens. So probably the easiest thing that you either have a lot of or are easiest to come by, as I said. Once you've done that and you have a full inventory of engrams, be it umbrals, normal or bright even, then go and do a Legendary Lost Sector at 1220. Now there's new pieces of gear to the season, but of the two Lost Sectors that are available on any given day, they'll be dropping different pieces of gear, either boots, helmets, gauntlets, or chest pieces. Most days, these are two different Legendary Lost Sectors. On occasion, you might see the same Lost Sector at two different difficulties, but it doesn't matter. If there's a piece of gear that you want from one, it is available in both. Now even though it'll say this one Legendary Lost Sector is dropping this one specific piece of gear, that is not really the case. Because the loot pool actually extends to both Legendary Lost Sectors, it's just sort of an RNG modifier is affecting one for that specific piece of gear rather than the other. But you can actually sidestep this through this particular glitch. Now the glitch functions when you have a full inventory of Ingrams. Instead of getting the exotic piece, whatever it is, from the 1320 in this case to drop, normally of course if it's boots in that legendary lost sector you'll see boots drop when you open the chest. That is if you actually get the exotic to drop, which doesn't always happen, but should happen at least once every five runs. It won't necessarily be the exotic you want, but it'll be, if it says boots, it'll be an exotic pair of boots, be it ones you have or ones you don't. But instead, what you'll see is a simple exotic Ingram drop. That is because you have no longer picked up that piece of gear. Because you have a full inventory, it gets sent to your postmaster instead of actually going into your uh, player cash. Now once that happens, you actually extend the loot pool to whatever's in the other legendary lost sector. So, say you were farming, 
for a pair of gauntlets that were dropping in the uh, 1350. But you couldn't do the 1350, you could do the 1320, so you'd stock up on all the umbral engrams or any engram that you can till you have a full inventory, and then go do the 1320. A normal exotic engram will drop from the chest at the end if you do get one to drop. That will be sent to your postmaster. You can then go to your postmaster, decrypt it, and find whether or not you got that legendary piece of gear. In any case, it will be most likely a set of gauntlets. Now in this case, I was doing the Concealed Void Legendary Law Sector. I believe it was dropping chess pieces on the day I was doing it. Simultaneously, in the 1350, of course, it was dropping the gauntlets, and I was really after a pair of nothing manacles. So, I went and did the 1320 with a full inventory of engrams. One got sent to my postmaster, I went and picked it up, and just by luck, I was able to get the nothing manacles. Now, I say by luck, it was going to be an exotic gauntlet of some kind doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the ones that I want, but it will be a pair of exotic gauntlets, whatever's dropping from the 1350. So I was lucky and I got it on my first try. But basically what this allows you to do is farm out any piece of gear on the lowest level difficulty, making it as the quickest way to actually farm out any piece of exotic gear. So stock up on as many umbrals and other engrams as you possibly can. Don't delete them like I've been doing when they just take the place of stuff that you want to have in your inventory. And do this farm method instead. As you can see, I had an exotic engram drop. Now sometimes in the past, some of these exotic engrams had actually just been able to be decrypted into um, like a, an enhancement core, which sounds pretty terrible, but that is specifically to ones that drop off of random pieces of, or random enemies, not necessarily the ones that drop specifically from the chest. And you'll know what these are because when you go over them in your uh, Postmaster, they will come up as zero uh, power. So that is one that will decrypt into uh, an enhancement core, but that is not the case with the ones that you get from the specific chest drop. Those will always be an exotic piece of gear from the other Legendary Lost Sector. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it uh, informational and it allows you to farm out exotics just that much easier because this basically makes 350s or 1350s uh, completely unnecessary. For the secret hashtag, if you've watched all the way till this portion of the video, please leave a hashtag Beyond Light or a hashtag Season of the Lost or a hashtag Exotic Farm in the comment section down below. And as always, I am Wilhelm Scream. Of course, we will see you in the next video. Little.